Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you my top five box sets that I purchased in 2022, so stick around. So we had some really nice box sets released during the year 2022, and I wanted to take time today to show you what some of my favorites are. Um, I was able to come up with five, which was a little difficult because there were so many good box sets this year. So I really wanted to pick out the ones that were the best for me. Uh, the movies may not be the best movies, but as far as the box sets concerned, I really like the box sets. So first up, we had The Fantastic Beast and The Secrets of Dumbledore. I really like what they did with this one. They made it like a, um, a briefcase, a suitcase, whatever, whatever it is. Some really nice looking details along the edges. I thought this was a really great design. You open it up, it does have a pop-up with, um, with the beast on the inside. And then it has the different um, place to put the Blu-ray. So I just thought this was a really nice looking design. Very simple. And so this right here would be one of my favorites. Okay, next up is another Walmart exclusive. So I think Walmart did a really great job with their exclusives this year. We have the ET lunchbox with a thermos. Um, I never did open this one up. I like to keep this one sealed. But it's got some really nice looking um, items on the inside. Some retro looking, uh, a retro looking um, lunchbox and a thermos with a 4K release, which I really love that. So I thought this right here was a, a great one. Okay, another great release for this year was for The Godfather on 4K for the 50th anniversary. Um, really nice looking black case with the foil um, logo on the front. It does have all three films in it with the extras, a booklet, and the lithographs, which I thought looked really great. So another really nice looking set. Another great one that we recently got was for Top Gun Maverick and the Top Gun limited edition gift set with both steel books, with all of these great contents on the inside. I do like the packaging and the steel books look great. And then my favorite release for the year has to be for the Ghostbusters 4K Ultimate Collection. It came with this ghost trap. So I thought this was really nice. And as you take this off, which I almost dropped it, you have this really nice looking packaging here. Looks like the ghost trap. And you open it up. It opens up, if I can get it to open, to have all of the Ghostbuster films on it, all the important ones, all with slip covers. And it does light up in the back, which I thought was a really nice touch. So once the titles are removed, you have this really nice looking green light on the inside. And each of these um, films come with a really nice looking slip cover, which is a great touch for all of them to get individual slips. And it does come with a bonus disc and a really thick booklet. So I think that's one of my favorites of the year. Just a really, really nice looking set. Now leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the um, titles that I chose for my top five. And also let me know what some of your favorite um, box sets were for the year. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.